hello folks, this is Mike Kaley 7 on the uh, 28th of April 2022. And I am heading to work. Let's see if I can do that nice corner today as I head it. So today is brought to you by the letter A for Alzheimer's or D for Dementia. Or M for memory loss. Why? I'll tell you why. Because two days ago I made a video and I put it out yesterday. And in that video I said I had an epiphany and I would tell you in the next video. Well then yesterday morning and evening I did two more videos which I have not put up or even edited yet. And totally forgot to talk about the epiphany. <laughs> So, in watching the comments and looking at my video again, I realized, oh god, i got to do my epiphany. So, let me do my epiphany. Here we go. One epiphany I'd like to do right now is a heated seat, because it's a bit nippy out here. There you go. I got it on a four, maybe a three. Four is kind of pushing it. i got to be careful, because there's construction ahead, and I don't want to be dead. out today. Good. I hit that doing about 58. That's not too bad. So again, uh, to reiterate what I was talking about previously, the thought of starting over at this age was not uh, a delightful prospect. If anything, I was wincing and feeling kind of trapped. Like I'm, I'm basically stuck in my role uh, and it's not a terrible role, but it's got its issues that are very frustrating. Then I'm basically stuck until retirement age. And so I thought, well, geez, this sucks, right? And uh, recently, I, it occurred to me that there is one thing that I can point to. One place where I can say, you know what, I would be excited to start anew. To, to cut my teeth, earn my stripes, or whatever you want to call it. Look at that, no scrapage whatsoever. And you might be saying, come on Mike, tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, fine, fine. It's music. So I got the guitar, I got the bass. I have two basses, actually. And I have the baritone saxophone. I'm studying music theory. I am learning to read uh, music, sheet music, uh, learning about chords and scales and how to make music and play music. And uh, I'm just at the very, very beginning. These are my baby steps. But if I continue to do this, A, it gives me something really creative to do and something really exciting for me to do because it's so new for me and I just feel like I know nothing. And I love that. I love learning things, absorbing things, and that's what I've been really focusing on to the point where I can't think of much else. And uh, it's kind of like learning a new language. Well, it's very much like learning a new language. There's a guy named um, Victor Wooten. He, he gave a TED Talk of sorts on that very subject. Um, Victor Wooten is apparently very, very, very famous for being one of, if not the, best bass players ever and he talks about how he was born into music music was his language while he was learning English as a baby he was also learning music as a baby and it wasn't sitting and practicing uh, just like you wouldn't sit and practice English as a baby you wouldn't sit and practice an instrument so his first bits were about music, you know, listening to music, singing music. His brothers were all playing in a band, and basically they told him, the reason your mama had you, the reason mama had you, or she said, you know, the reason I had you, son, is because uh, we need a bass player. <laughs> so he grew up in music, and when he was handed his first uh, playable guitar, it was a bass. When he was handed his first playable bass, he was just able to just blubber blubber. He had a good time just playing. 
and it wasn't right and it wasn't wrong and and he just did it he's like when you're a kid when you're you know between one and two and you say something incorrectly like I you know um, let me think of a good word that's an irregular verb so for example thought right I thought about something well a little kid uh, because he's learning language the brain picks up that ed ending for past tense so the kid doesn't realize that there's a special circumstance for the verb think and so the kid will say I thinked it I thinked it I, I think it a lot and the parents generally do not correct that and and science has shown that correcting a little kid doesn't really work anyway to the point where uh, oftentimes the family the parents the siblings will use the, the the wrong one that the kid used but eventually the kid starts saying it you know the right way the way that everybody else says it and then that's that's over you know the kid doesn't grow up saying think still they learn thought so the same thing happened when he was learning music and bass and all that you're free to experiment you're free to to just do it and you're you're not hindered by embarrassment or guilt or any of that because you're a kid and that's one of the ways he approaches teaching because he teaches now uh, as well as records and you know travels and all that and he had this one lady in the audience at this college introduction and she had never played an instrument before and she was going to be studying music at this college and he had her come up on stage and he played some, you know, they put some music on and they just had her standing up there doing do to do whatever she wanted to do. And she had a great time. Everybody was moving and grooving. And he ended up, you know, she said at the end of it, he's like, okay, that, that's your bass now. You keep that. So that's how I really want to approach this is the excitement of a child learning this new thing, music and bass and and saxophone and all that stuff and then maybe in nine or ten years when I feel like okay now it's time to transition to something else because you know it gets kind of boring doing the same thing over and over and over and over for 30 years and I'm not teaching anymore and teaching is always new and exciting but I thought you know what how about this I could learn music, practice music, get better, get maybe good, and if so, if things naturally progress as they could, I could start, you know, jamming and maybe even go into a gig or two, join a band, form a band. Nothing fancy, you know, because I'm old, right, so it's never going to be like, we're going to be top ten, no, 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 that's not the point. The point is to play music with other people, and if I can earn some money at it at a bar here and there or a festival here and there, uh, fine, that would be awesome. I could teach part-time and play part-time. And uh, if I lose my eyesight, doesn't really matter because if I've learned how to play well, uh, I won't need my eyes to hit the right places because people don't need to use their eyes to look at these things. Blind people do it all the time. I just hope I don't go deaf. <laughs> you wear the ear protection, right? So the epiphany is music. The epiphany is... I have a goal again. For the first time since the age of 35, I have a goal. And it's music. All things music. Of course, I'm going to continue with the motorcycle. I, you know, I have my Goldwing. And right now, I have my Kawasaki. And I'll, I'll probably keep that for a while longer. Just to have a little bit more fun. <laughs> scrapey scrapey for you. But I'm definitely going to get into that. And hopefully make it a big thing, big part of my life. And so there you go. Find something that fires your passion, uh, that just captivates you, and consider that as something you can make a goal in later life. Anyway, before I go, I'm going to do this for, for Gil. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Here, look at that, huh? Look at that gold wing. I got that lighty yuppy thing above my license plate. That's a new add-on. I gotta get this thing re-registered, damn it. The month is almost over. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, oh, it's me in shadow. So yeah. Gorgeous gold wing. My kid is seven, we'll talk to you later.